Hey there, YouTubers. Welcome back. This is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is fun. Today we're going to take a look a little bit more about our VLOOKUP uh, kind of series that we've been doing in the basic um, playlist. Uh, today what I want to do is I want somebody to type in a... Um, I want them to type in one of the numbers from the product list, but what I want to happen is it to take the description and the date added and the status and give me a, a brief message that pops up that tells me all those things. So let's try that now using what we've learned. So hit Alt F11 and let's kind of tweak our previous code here to do just that. We'll, we'll, uh, well, we can make a new sub in case you guys want to take a look at these. Sub VBA V lookup We'll call this one VLOOKUP3. We'll call this VLOOKUP MESSAGE because that's kind of what we're doing with it. So we're going to say we want to gather details. So we're kind of just going to copy and paste a little bit. We are going to read from E6 again. Um, that's what we did the VLOOKUP from last time. And we can go ahead and use the regular VLOOKUP um, visual basic version of it. So let's say, instead of selection.value, we don't want to necessarily write onto a cell. We just want the user to find out through a message box. So we're going to collect data in three different variables and then combine them when we're putting together our message. So the first um, variable we could just say is description, D-E-S-C. That variable is going to contain the answer to the VLOOKUP of E6 using the PT table column 2. That's the description. It's column two, so it's fair enough. Then let's, uh, oops, let's say, uh, see, whenever something automatically capitalizes itself, that makes me worry that maybe DESC is something native to Visual Basic and um, it's going to throw an error or it's going to have something funky going on. So let's change that. We'll call it, uh, we'll call it, we could just say my disk. Let me just make sure. Yep, it didn't capitalize anything, so it's not being used by the application. Uh, the next one is going to be, let's just copy and paste this. Control C and Control V, Control V, Control V, uh, Control V. Okay, the first thing is uh, we got to capture what the actual product number is if we want to display that. So we'll just say prod num equals range of uh, E6, okay? And in fact, we could, oh, that capitalized itself too. Mercy. Let's just call this my prod. My goodness. My prod is going to be whatever's in E6. And so technically, if you wanted to save some keystrokes, if you hadn't already copied and pasted all this stuff, you could actually be v looking up this variable, my prod, in the table. And so, um, actually, I think I'll copy and paste that just for fun, just for an example. And we don't need that. Um, so the next thing you need, it, you got the description here. Then we call this one uh, my d added, my date added, and that's going to be column three v, v lookup. Then you have my status, so my stat will work, and that's of course going to be column four of your four column table. And then so this is going to VLOOK up all of them. Let's just F8 through all that and show you. Hit F8, hit F8, hit F8. So my prod equals MW834. And now you can see that my prod is updated in all these other VLOOKUPs in the future. So my description is going to be looking up MW834 in the PT table. So hit F8. So that's my description is product 9. The answer to my date added is, ooh, some funky serial number. Um, two things you could do. You could use C date to change that into a date and convert that into a date. You will get an error, however, normally, if you didn't have this, if the date is not valid, like if it was a text string or something, it would freak out. Let's do that again. My date added equals convert date. 
of this lookup. So it'll convert it into a date instead of a serial number. Hit F8, and that is 6-30-1996. Great. My stat equals, and that's column 4 VLOOKUP, so A. So let's put it all together. So we'll say we're go we want a message box to come up that says, what does it say? We want it to say, my prod, so that's the name of the product, do a ampersand, because, and then a quote, and then a space. We're joining some text to our variable. So right now it'll say uh, CR whatever uh, MW834. Um, no, let's see. Let's start it with quote product number and then a space quote space ampersand space and then my prod is what the product number is space ampersand and space quote space. Um, is another quote ampersand and join and that will say <coughs> my description my desk and just keep on joining more text so product number whatever the product number is the description of that product and then another space here um, or we could do a comma there and say added on and then join that to the date, so my D added. Join that with a text that has, starts with a space and is. And then you could do some kind of IF thing for inactive or active. In fact, let's do one. Let's do IF. Um, so if my stat equals capital A comma then the word active okay C comma otherwise um, inactive that has a capital A otherwise it's going to be the word inactive so um, let's see here what did I do wrong here if my stat equals the capital letter A then active otherwise inactive uh oh uh okay we need to do we need to finish off this text string right here with a quote and then join that to our little if thing and is inactive and then do a uh, once again join that because we want to put a period right there and that's the end of our little statement there oh and then uh i don't know why i put a quote there we don't need a quote for this particular type of message box. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So just reading on ahead, my let's say product number MW834 is product nine, comma, added on six thirty nineteen ninety six, and is and then we'll take uh, that'll either say active or inactive. So hit F8 and let's see what happens. Product number MW834 is product 9, added on 6-30-1996, and is active. Oh my goodness, that was actually pretty informative, wasn't it? Pretty cool. So, okay. Now, uh, we could make this even more fun. Uh, you, uh, you, could, uh, you could add a, a worksheet event that every time this particular cell is changed, it would bring up a message box. So let's do that. Um, so Alt F11. Uh, so every every time um, this cell is changed, we want to bring up the sub called VBA VLOOKUP message. That's easy enough, right? So just uh, click, right click on the worksheet that you're on and go to View Code. Make sure you're viewing the code of the correct worksheet. Go to Worksheet Function. We don't want a selection change, we just want a change event. That way every time you click around, it ain't gonna run this thing. Only whenever this particular cell is changed. So uh, we could just say, <coughs> say if target dot address uh, I'm doing zeros instead of absolute values absolute values is like when you use dollar signs versus just using like a1 instead of dollar sign a dollar sign one so the zeros mean uh, relative or, or just 
doesn't matter kind of values. So target.address, if that equals, quote, uh, E6, and this is another way to do it, you could also do the if not intersect stuff. But if the target.address is E6, then, and we'll call uh, whatever I paste, uh, copied and pasted, call VBA VLOOKUP message and then end if. So basically every time you change any cell in this workbook, um, even if you just double click and hit enter, it's going to run that code but it just blazes through it without doing anything. However, if the address is going to be E6 that you just changed, then it'll do the VBA VLOOKUP message that we've just been messing with. So let's even click here and hit enter. It says product number MW8 is and it's active. Oh my gosh, that's pretty sweet. Let's change this to say, how about this one? Uh, caps lock is on AW898. Oops. Product number AW898 is product 13. That's the description. Added on 5-3-1992 and is active. Wow, that's sweet. What if I did lowercase aw by accident or on purpose? Still works. The VLOOKUP still is looking it up. How about BA807? That one's right there. 322, 208, and is inactive. Man, that is so helpful. Um, you, you know, you don't have to do a message box. Um, in fact, in the next uh, video, we'll show you how to change the status bar. You can really shove it right there. Oh, that'd be cool, right? Let's check it out. Thanks for watching.